What's up, y'all? Welcome to Bass Guys Video Blog 101. Yes, uh, this one ain't going to be about music, though. This is going to be about the NBA, because I do follow the NBA religiously. Uh, it is Saturday, April 2nd. Kobe Bryant just signed a three-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers for a reported $85 million. Now, is it me or... Does Kobe sign this deal because Kobe wants to win another three or four championships to cement his place and get the monkey of Michael Jordan off his back? That's what I'm thinking. Kobe has four titles. We know MJ has six. We know in order for Kobe to be considered the greatest player ever, he has to at least tie or beat that six titles, right? So by my math, if he signs a three-year extension plus this season, if they happen to win this season, I mean, it's not, it's not a far-gone conclusion that they will. My money's on the Cavaliers. Was, yeah. But uh, so if they happen to win this year, that would give him five. And then if he could pull off a trifecta, which is going to be next year impossible. Nobody's going to win three titles in a row, believe that. Uh, four, if he wins this year, there will be four in a row. So what he's doing is he's, I think he's trying to pad a, a couple of years in there so he can get to that six. And he's hoping he'll win seven so he can better Mike's mark. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else do we have to talk about today? Okay. The Eastern Conference, the Boston Celtics, my father's team, they are old. Their legs are gone, and they're trying to coast into the playoffs, and hopefully they'll pick it up there. But I don't see them winning a uh, title this year. I see them hopefully competing, but I don't see them winning. They'll be lucky to make it out of the East, man. Really, they'll be lucky to make it out of the East. I mean, with the legs, the old legs of uh, KG starting to get back in shape, though, with the old legs of uh, uh, Ray Allen and Paul Pierce and KG, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, now on to second, my uh, Western Conference ancient relic team. San Antonio Spurs. Did anyone see Paul Gasol absolutely embarrass Tim Duncan in that game? Oh, my God. Timmy looked like he was 50 years old and Paul Gasol was killing him. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I love me some Tim Duncan, but Paul Gasol was, ooh, man, blocking everything he put up and pushing him 20 feet away from the basket. And Timmy couldn't get down in the post, and oh my God, man! And without Tony Parker to facilitate some of that penetrating dish, oh man, that left Timmy in a power game. Which Timmy's not a power player; he's a finesse player. He's the big basic with the footsteps. Uh, the, the, I mean, the footwork and the uh, movement, and he works off of the cut and dish, and you know, he gets position and he just goes to the textbook on how to do a drop step, how to do a fadeaway, how to do a turn and shoot, uh, you know. But he's not a power player, so we know this. It's a finesse game for him. So I don't see them getting anywhere. Uh, injuries, injuries, injuries is a big question of this this year, man. Injuries, I mean, Portland Trail Blazers. I love me some Portland. I lived there for a while. Uh, oh, my God. I, Gray Golden, I feel bad for him. And then, uh, you know, just they've just been nagged by injuries all year. Uh, Phoenix is making a run. I don't see them winning the title. Neither do I see Dallas winning the title. Although that, that was one of the best traits of the year for Karam Butler and Al Horford. I mean, yeah, going to the uh, Mavericks. That was, uh, that was a trade since then. The Mavericks have been on a tear. Uh, the Orlando Magic, they need another 
one or two Matt Barneses, man. There's no toughness there. They need another two, uh, you know, one or two of those perimeter lockdown guys that just beat people up and make shots difficult for a, or try to make shots difficult for LeBron. You can't really make shots difficult for LeBron. He's just too strong. But, you know, make shots difficult for the perimeter players on the post, uh, I mean, uh, on the perimeter of the uh, 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 opposing team. So that's another thing that, that, that Orlando needs in order to make that next level. I mean, they will be lucky to get back to the finals this year. I don't see them getting back to the finals. Uh, Eastern Conference finals, possibly, but not the uh, NBA finals, no. No, uh, there's a couple of teams that are a player away in the East to me, uh, uh, specifically Miami. Miami's a uh, player away. They need a consistent three or four to go with D. Wade and Jermaine O'Neal. They need a three or four that's a good defender and that can put up consistently uh, 15 to 20 uh, a night and grab 10, 12 boards. Also, uh, uh, maybe a good four that that can give you, you know, 14 to 16 uh, points plus, you know, say 10, 12, 10, 14 boards a night. That's what they need. And then they'll be a serious contender to make it out of the uh, first round or second round. Yeah, as far as that concerned. Uh, in the east, uh, um, excuse me, in the west, we know who's the cream of the crop is the Los Angeles Lakers. They're head and shoulders above everybody else. Their big problem is uh, the arrogance and the ego. They think they can turn it on and off at any time. I'm not quite sure. I mean, although they did handily dispatch the Utah Jazz today, but that was more along the lines of Utah just was overpowered by the bigs inside, you know. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Denver, again, the injury problems with, with uh, yesterday, uh, uh, Greg Anderson went down Birdman and the Kenyon Martin in injury. And although, although uh, Nene has been playing great lately, but uh, – Without Birdman and Kenyon Martin healthy, I don't see them uh, making it to the finals. I don't see, really don't. You know, so I'm going to go out on the limb right now and make a prediction. Western Conference, Western Conference Finals. L.A. Lakers. Denver Nuggets, Denver Nuggets. <laughs> the Eastern Conference Finals. Cleveland Cavaliers. Orlando Magic. There you go. Uh, and in closing, my prediction for the uh, finals. L.A. and Cleveland. Cleveland takes it. Five games. I told you. Holla at me. I told you. 